Okay, here we go. Good afternoon, guys. So I just got done making some fresh green juice and I got inspired um, by my husband, actually, who, who said to me that the pulp and all the goodness that comes out of my juicer um, is good stuff, which it is, but I usually just throw it away. So I'm going to show you now what I mean and what I'm doing. So let me flip the camera if I can, um, which I don't know how to do that. Why can't I flip the camera? Hold okay, on. here we go. So after you make your fresh juice, I'm just kind of going to recreate a little bit. You put your fresh greens, like your leafy greens, um, whatever, kale, spinach, um, any kind of greens you want. It doesn't matter. There's a, there's a, a huge variety. You could put parsley, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then you put maybe some lemon and some maybe some fruit or pineapple or banana uh, and you make fresh green juice. So what happens after that is all of this is filled with, you can see a little bit of pulp left there, but this whole container in the back is full to the brim with the leftover once the juice is extracted from the from the fruits and vegetables all of the fibrous stuff really which is really good for you is left over again i usually just throw it away even though i know it's good stuff but i try not to overwhelm myself until my husband gave me some inspiration he didn't even realize it so when he's like you know that's really good stuff you sh you could probably use it i said you know what let me go ahead and do that so i put it all in my blender i took it from here put it in my blender and then I'm like, oh, what else do I have in my in my freezer? Because I thought I'll blend it all up and I'll make some frozen um, smoothie bowls since it's hot now. It's summertime and I'll make some frozen little smoothie snacks um, for later. And so I put it all in here. I added some pineapple. I added some mixed berries, um, raspberries, blackberries, mulberries, any kind of berries you want. The more colors you use, the better. So <clears throat> the pulp from here has got greens and stuff like that, but you're also adding other color, which is, is the full spectrum of what our body needs as far as fruits and vegetables. So um, it's good for digestion. It's good for antioxidants, detoxing the system, um, detoxing the liver all that good stuff. And it's delicious. So this is the blessings that God gives us when we take part in the foods and things that he's given us on earth so that we can have life and life more abundantly because we feel good on, in our body, which makes us feel good in our mind and our spirit and our soul and everything. And of course, Jesus first, though. You start your morning with prayer and acknowledging Jesus and thanking him being uh, grateful. Anyway, made the smoothies. I put them in these little cups, just basic plastic cup, and pop them in the freezer. And so later on, we'll have a nice snack. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and to say, and to say, Jesus first, take care of the body second. See, when you, when, when you put Jesus first and you start your day, with acknowledging God, praying, asking God's will to be done in your life today. You're feeding your spirit. You're edifying your soul. You're acknowledging that you can't handle life on your own. Even if you're doing great, you got a great job, you got things. It seems like everything's going together. The day will come where something's really goes wacky in your life and you're perplexed, you don't know what to do. We all need Jesus. We all need a savior. And we need to edify our bodies and our spirit with some kind of food. Your spirit needs food. That's where Jesus comes in and the word of God. In the morning when I wake up, <coughs> my husband starts to read scripture. And as he's reading scripture, I'm on the floor stretching, just stretching the body, releasing some tension, and it feels really good while my my ears are receiving the word of God, right? And faith come by hearing. Your faith grows by hearing the word of God. And the cells in our body 
retain information. It's called cellular memory. That's science. That's no quote religious anything. That's science. You can Google it. Whatever information comes in your ear is literally feeding your tissues, your cells in your body. And it's, it's speaking information to your cells. So if you're getting good information in your ear, you're getting good information in your physical body. And it's going to make you feel good. It's just like if you're around a quote, oh, I don't like going to such and such a place because I don't like the energy there. It doesn't make me feel good. Well, if you stay in that place long enough, you're going to start to get physically sick, mentally sick, because your body is literally, literally absorbing that negativity in your very cells. So when you start right off the bat your day with good information that is edifying and it's something that is beyond your realm of comprehension and understanding as a human being because it comes from God, it's the spirit of God, it's the word of God that brings life. The word of God is called the living word. So we're receiving this living word in our ears. It's feeding our cells and our DNA as I'm stretching and just working on my body a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and then allergy is a killer right now. Oh my goodness. Help me, Jesus. If I wasn't taking all of this good stuff every single day, I'd probably be sick in bed. Um, anyway, so then after that, that's when I make my fresh green juice or my smoothie or protein and everything good for the physical body. So you feed the you feed the mind and the spirit with the word of God and you feed the body right after that with all of the good things that God gave us in nature. None of this is man-made. This is all God's food. Friends, I tell you what. It is a win-win. This is not religion. This is not I'm not religious. I'm just telling you what God has revealed to me personally through the tumultuous journey that I've been through in my life. Everything from domestic violence, drugs, and all the kinds of things that go along with drugs that women do, jail, just horrible. My life was in the pit of hell. But God used that to grow me, to teach me, to give me revelation, and to create me into the person that I am today, 30 years later, <coughs> it's been a long journey. And now I'm 50 years old, and I'm so grateful for who I am today because of all the things that God showed me. And it's really simple. Those three things that I just told you, you wake up, feed yourself with the word of God, edify your body with that. Faith come by hearing. And then feed your body the foods that God gave us I'm telling you, at 50 years old, I have never felt better physically. Never. I should feel like an old, decrepit woman after everything I've been through in my life. I should look old. I should feel old. Probably would be overweight and all kinds of stuff. But these three things that God told me, just me, I'm not some certified nutritionist. I'm not a certified anything other than a certified recovery coach, certified chaplain, and an outreach minister, ordained minister. That's what I am. What I teach comes from my personal experience and personal re revelation from God himself, just me and him. You, I didn't learn this in any school. <coughs> and I think that's the best testimony is personal experience. That's just me. But anyway, <coughs> Oh my goodness, the pollen is horrible. Lord, clear this pollen away so we can breathe better. That's the other thing. There's so many toxins in the air that we breathe every day and don't realize that take root in our body and it just causes more sickness. We, we live in an environment today that is sick and toxic. So much stuff in the air, even the water we drink. It's got metals and all kinds of stuff. We now more than ever need to keep our bodies cleansed and detoxed so that we can have optimum life. So I'm done rattling off for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed 
my little humble little homemade videos. But um, I just want to help you. I just want to help people feel better and have the right knowledge and wisdom that you need to do so to have life and life more abundantly, like the Bible says that Jesus come, came to give us life and life more abundantly. And these are the reasons why and, and the ways that he shows us how to do it. All right, guys, have a good day.